Hello everybody, it's two o'clock, it's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. It has been hot here, hot, hot, hotter than normal. I think it's hotter than normal. I think all of us are saying that. It has been brutal. All right, let's see if I can find you guys, make sure I'm in the right group. I see some of you jumping on, I think that means Hopefully I am in the right place. All right, I am. Okay, now let's make sure that my volume is down and hello. Okay, good. Oh, good, I can see your comments. Hi, ladies, it's so good to see you. Um, today we're using the Bird's Eye View stamp set, which is so stinking cute. Um, everybody I have talked to, it says this is at the top of their list. It's their favorite. Um, and my downline, Cheryl and Crystal commented on something I posted the other day or something somebody else posted, I don't know, somewhere. And Crystal has named it the Nerdy Bird Set, which I thought was hilarious. They should have named it the Nerdy Bird Set for sure. That would have been a really cute name. It's got those cute little glasses, which make them very, very cute. All right, so... Um, we have a, we have some things to talk about. Um, let's talk about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, first of all, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be out of town next week. I won't be here next Friday, so there won't be a Facebook Friday. Um, so I won't talk to you guys again until August. Isn't that crazy? So this is the last time for me to remind you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. This is um, a PDF that has 12 tutorials in it. It features one suite this month, it's the Earth and Elegance Suite. And um, each tutorial is designed by a different demonstrator. We put them together in a PDF. I give this away for free with anybody who spends $50 with me. Um, but you can also buy it in my um, PDF store for $15 or this month only, the first month of the six month uh, period, you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. Um, the, su the subscription is for those of you that buy PDFs. Um, maybe you are a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator already and you're not gonna shop with me, you're not gonna get it for free, um, but you want the PDFs, the subscription would be great because uh, you pay for five months and then that six month is free. I email them on the first every month automatically around 9 a.m. Um, so you know when it's gonna arrive. Um, so anyway, that is that. Um, next month, I have them all listed over on my blog post of which suites we're using each month. Um, next month, it is the balloons set. Bright balloons, beautiful balloons. Bright and beautiful is the suite, okay? So that's what's coming. I just finished that project this morning. Um, so anyway, if you want the details on this, pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down a few posts and you'll find it. It'll also be at the bottom of today's blog posts. They're video tutorials too, by the way. All of them are video. They have the supplies listed as well as measurements in Imperial and metric. And my um, project this month is a extra large gift box. All right. All right. Um, I think I'm going to turn you guys around. I have a new light and it just came like in the last 45 minutes. And the only way it attaches is to clamp to the desk. Well, my counters go all the way to the back, so I can't clamp anything in the back. I have to clamp it to the front. So it's like right here next to me. <laughs> Hopefully by the next time I'll have it figured out, but you know, I'm still working out all this, all these things, right? You guys working on all of them. All right, I'm gonna switch you guys over. Let's see how this goes today. If I can switch you guys. The problem here too is that I'm not tall enough to see what I'm doing. Um, let's see how that looks. Let me move this out of the way. All right. Now, oh good, Facebook is catching up. Last week when I was watching on my iPad, it was so behind. Like not just about like, normally it's about eight seconds behind, but last week it was like eight minutes behind. It was crazy. Okay, I gotta turn it this way so I can see comments. Hold on, hold please. I need to get a better, um, a better case. That one keeps slipping. All right, so let's talk about, um, let's talk about this first. This is Club Create. 
Um, Club Create is my uh, product subscription. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Let's see if we can get it a little bit straighter. Um, it's a subscription, a kit. I'm sorry, that's the name, kit. It's a subscription kit. Every month I design five projects and um, usually it's all one bundle. I use one bundle for the projects and the kit comes to you in the mail and it has about $20 in product, five make and takes, video, PDF, um, and it, the price includes shipping. It's $39 a month. And um, the deadline, to, I'm, I don't know why I'm like distracted. Um, the deadline for this one is August 7th. So if you're interested in the uh, Let's Go Shopping bundle, this is Club Create Kit for August. You'll wanna make sure that you have subscribed by August 8th. And you can cancel anytime you want. You can sign up for one month if you want. You can cancel if you don't like it, whatever. It's not gonna hurt my feelings. Um, but if you stay for six months, then you uh, get a product credit um, on your sixth month. You get $25 in product, whatever you want, and I'll send it in your kit. Um, okay, here's what I announced yesterday. This is a new club. This is different from that club. I told you guys when the new catalog came out, you'd ask if I was going to do an in-color club. And I said no, because I was moving. I just, there was no way I could get it done with the move and stuff. But what I wanted to do was do a new color club. Um, we have new colors this year. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. All right, it worked. We have new colors um, this year. Ooh, I zoomed in a lot, didn't I? Um, we have 11 new colors in the catalog and they're our core colors. So they're not going away. Um, you know, our in colors rotate out uh, every two years. Um, and so I'm doing a new color club and each month I'm gonna focus on two of the new colors. Um, now there are 11 colors, but I'm only gonna do 10 of them because Fresh Freesia, number 11, was an in color. It was just an in color and I did a club with Fresh Freesia. So we're, we're kicking that one out of the new color club because it's really not a new color in my mind. So new color club. Each month, I will send you a kit. And in that kit, you'll have 10 card bases for each of the colors. You'll have 20 envelopes. You'll have uh, some designer series paper that coordinates with those two colors. You're gonna get, I'm gonna print out um, these color coaches for you each month, and as well as the sketches for the projects. There will be um, two cards two of each. So you'll have four cards total and it'll be a video tutorial showing you how to use your new products. Um, you'll have two blends. I'm trying to remember everything that's in it. Two sets of Stampin' Blends, so four blends, plus the Stampin' Write markers and an embellishment, okay? So that is, this is similar to In Color Club, if you've ever done In Color Club. It's a way to build up your supplies. Um, you know, sometimes, we want it all right away, but we can't get it all right away. And this is kind of a way to, to build up your supply over five months. So at the end of the five months, you'll have all the new colors. Now, normally in my In Color Club, I include the ink pads, but I'm not doing that this time because I know many of you have bought the ink pads already. Um, I have had the ink pads as add-on options to my club for the last three months, and many of you have bought them. So. What I'm doing is not including the ink pad, but you can add it to your kit if you want. And when you add something to your kit, I pay the tax and shipping for you. So I, you pay just catalog price and then I cover the tax and shipping for you. Okay, that was kind of messy. You're gonna get a kit, two new colors each month. You're gonna get uh, uh, a kit of make and takes in your color kit with a video and, um, you know, there might be some extra goodies in there. I'm just saying. I don't want to give anything away, but you never know. Um, you'll have, at the end, you'll have a ring full of the color coach and you'll have a ring full of card sketches. Um, this club will run August, September, October, November, and December. It is $59 plus $8 priority shipping each month, okay? Um, you sign up just like you sign up for Club Create and it'll charge you every month, um, like if you signed up today, what's today, the 21st, then it would charge you August 21st, September 21st, November 20, you know, like each month until we're done. 
Okay, so that is Color Club. I think it's gonna be fun. I really wanna focus on maybe some techniques, some coloring techniques, um, color coordination, you know, like what color, sometimes we struggle with putting colors together, so I wanna help you um, with suggestions of colors that go together. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm excited about it, it's something brand new. I spent a lot of time kind of processing what I wanted to do. You should see the notes that I wrote down to just try to like plug all this in to see how it would work and pricing. Um, it's gonna be fun and um, the deadline to sign up for this is August 5th um, and then the first kits will ship August 28th. So they'll ship at the end of each month. Club Create ships on the 21st, New Color Club will ship on the 28th. And I know that somebody's gonna ask me, can they be combined? No, because that, they're not, they won't fit in the same envelope, honestly. They will not fit in the same envelope. They both are it's just too much stuff. Um, and they, it's too hard for me to try to remember to who's hold, you know, who do I hold back, who do I do? But honestly, you're not gonna save anything because we'd have to use a box to ship them together and then that's just defeating the purpose anyway. Okay, so there is that. Um, will the Color Club PDFs be available for sale if we wanted? Um, Cindy, good question. I hadn't even considered that. Yeah, I think so. That's a good question. Maybe a Color Club PDF subscription where each month I send them to you. That's a good question. Let me, let me, let me um, think about that, okay? I don't know why. I hadn't even thought about that. All right, so tax-free. I posted yesterday about the tax-free holidays. You guys know about tax-free back-to-school holidays. Here in Texas, it's a big deal. Um, they put school supplies on uh, tax-free. There's always a weekend, it's tax-free. So you can go buy all your kids' school supplies and save on the taxes. There's all kinds of other things that fall into that. It's not just school supplies. And part of that is Stampin' Up! products, some Stampin' Up! products. Um, and so here, not every state participates. Majority of them do not. So please don't shoot the messenger. I know people are always mad at me <laughs> because their state's not included. It's not my fault, I promise. I'm just relaying the message. I want you guys to know about how you can save some money. Here, um, sales tax is eight and a quarter, which is a lot, you know, so saving that is, is I mean, I, you know, I, I always stock up on my adhesive during um, tax-free weekend. So here are the states, Alabama, Florida, Tennessee, Mississippi, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, West Virginia, Arkansas, Texas, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. And they all have different dates. Um, and then here's the, the, the lovely teeny tiny spreadsheet. I posted about this yesterday, day before yesterday, with a link to this lovely you're gonna to need to get your magnifying glass out. No, if you look at your computer, you can zoom in. But things that are included in most of the states, it looks like almost everybody's the same except for Ohio has a few things that they're the markers that they're not um, covering. But it's mostly adhesive, um, glue, grid paper, paper snips. Hello, I'm always telling you guys you need paper snips. Um, markers, all right, the Stampin' Right markers, watercolor pencils, blender pen, um, and Stampin' Right Marker Collection. Yeah, so markers, adhesive, grid paper, snips is basically what's on here. I, you know, it's not a huge sale like our stamp sale was, but if you need adhesive or you need markers or you need grid paper, whatever, you know, you're gonna save yourself a little bit. I have scheduled a post um, on Facebook for each of the first days to go up. So if it's your state, hopefully you'll see it and it will remind you. Okay, okay, so there is that. Let's see, before I get to this, what else do I have to show you? Um, online exclusives, you guys. I just checked the two things that are unorderable right now is trucking along. And I don't, why did I write July 17th? Because was that what it was? That's not what it was. Now it's uh, October 16th, yeah. I am hoping that that's sooner than that. Sometimes they change those dates, they can expedite that stuff. Um, but on that one, I don't know. Punches are a weird thing. They come from overseas, and I know you guys are gonna say, we'll make them in the United States. But if they made them in the United States, they'd have to charge like $100 a punch. They'd be way more expensive. There's a whole story there. So just know that, you know, this is how it is. Um, so October 16th is 16th, 17th, somewhere around there. 
Um, this one, So Very Merry, oh, I thought I had it, is gonna be in July 31st, which is week after next, okay? And that one was one that they were going to not um, restock, but it sold out and it was so popular they decided to restock that, okay? So that is the deal on online exclusives. Bonus days is through the end of the month, July 31st, you earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend. You can use it in August. Paper pumpkin kit. Subscription is open for the Meaningful Flowers paper pumpkin kit. I have a couple extra of the July kit, the Fun in the Sun kit. Um, if, you're, if you didn't end up getting yours, I always say, there's somebody who emails me every month and says, my card was declined or I forgot to change my credit card number and I didn't get my kit this month, do you have one? So if that's you, message me. I have a couple extra. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah, now let me talk to you about today and this next week. So I'm gonna be out of town next week. We're just, we're going, we're going back to Key West, you guys. When we went to Key West two years ago, we didn't get to go to the national park that's down there, Dry Tortugas. Dry Tortugas is the most remote national park, well, one of the most remote national parks there is. It's uh, like 60 miles off the coast of, of Key West. It's like far, um, and you have to take a boat. It's like a two hour boat ride. And so when we were there last time, we didn't get tickets in time. And so then my husband and I went and stood in line real early in the morning to try to get, you know, they free up a few tickets in the morning. We didn't get it. So we were disappointed. So the kids have wanted to go back. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be gone. Um, just not even a full week to go down there and do that and relax. And then uh, we'll be back. But I won't be back in time for Facebook Friday. So no Facebook Friday next week. While I'm gone, I always do something fun while I'm gone. Um, I kind of did, remember last year when I did mystery boxes? This is similar to that, but I'm not calling it mystery box because I am, I'm going to use envelopes because <laughs> um, boxes are really expensive to ship. So here's, here's the thing, okay? From now until July 31st, if you spend $50, you're going to get a free mystery product kit, all right? I've been collecting embellishments, just all kinds of stuff um, to give away and little little mystery um, kits. You're gonna get the all-star tutorial PDF and your bonus coupon for August. If you spend $100, you're gonna get all of that, plus I'm gonna buy you the host set night of flight. And if you spend $150, I'm gonna give you one of our famous pop-up trash cans too, all right? So that's what I'm offering while I'm gone. It's similar to what I offered last year. Now here's the other off part of that offer. Facebook Friday make and takes. I will offer those in addition to this up until Monday. So the Facebook Friday offer ends Monday. Um, and then after that, I'm still offering all of this. I cannot word that so that it made sense. This, all of this is from now to the 31st. Facebook Friday make and takes are in addition to this up until Monday at midnight. Okay, hope that makes sense. There's a host code attached to it. If you go over $150, don't use that host code. You'll get stamp and rewards. I want you to get them. Um, I'll still send you the goodies. Okay, hopefully that makes sense, you guys. Um, <laughs> Cliffy, y'all need a vacation after your move. You know, we weren't gonna do anything this summer because of the move. And then I just got antsy and I was like, I, you know, I wanna go to the beach. And we found some cheap tickets and a cheap VRBO and all this. Um, and now I'm like, oh my God, why did I do this? I have so much to do. I've missed so much, you know, I've been crazy, but it'll be fun. I'm glad we're going. Um, the girls are very excited. So we need to, we do need to relax for sure. Okay, so that is that. Um, this is what Facebook Friday make and takes look like. I don't do any stamping, but I will send you die cuts and embellishments that you need. I make you a thank you tag. You will need the stamps. There's no dies involved this week for the birds, so you just need the stamps. There are, I did use a different sentiment stamp for all three projects, so you'll need to use whatever you have. Um, but the usually I mail these the like the next Wednesday. I'm real good at mailing them right the next Wednesday, but these will not mail for two weeks, right? Not this Wednesday, the following Wednesday. We get back in town and I'll work on these when I get back in the office. Oh, what's that date, that Monday? July, is that July 31st? 
um, and then get them out to you guys. Okay, so you'll have to be a little bit patient with these. And those of you that shop the stamp sale, um, use the host code, you'll get those too, but you have to wait until I get back, okay? All right, now, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, that's the deal, that's what I do. I give away make and takes for free. It's my thank you for your order. Um, I always have a host code attached to Facebook Friday, and any order over $35 will get you a little make and take kit that I mail to you in the mail for free. Um, at my blog, as you have you guys checked my blog, pinkbugger.com, um, I have a free PDF that I've typed up. It has the supply list and the measurements, and then all of these things that I've talked about, all the links are there for you um, if you can't find them. And I think that's it. All right. Um, I have a prize. I did not pick a prize from last week because I forgot. <laughs> so we're just going to start fresh. This will be when I come back, a sweet citrus bundle. If you would like a sweet citrus bundle, share the video on Facebook or on YouTube, and I'll pick a winner on, what, what is the first Friday of July? What's that date? July, my calendar's way over there. July 6th, something like that. Okay? Okay, I think we're ready. Let me just make some space here. This light that is right here on my left side is gonna throw me off. I'm gonna hit it and it's gonna it's gonna be annoying. But next, I'm gonna have, my husband, he put this board across the window here, like a clamp everything too, but the problem is, is it's too close to the window. So things that clamp on, they're hitting the window or they can't clamp because there's not enough room. So we still got a little, we gotta, we gotta work things out a little bit still. But you know, I did put some things on the wall some decorations, so we're getting there. New lights, I ordered several new lights and two of them did not help, but this one, of course, the one that costs the most, right? It is the one that is the winner. Alrighty, so why can't I see comments? August 4th is the next Facebook. Thanks, Cynthia, I appreciate that. Awesome, thank you for sharing. Yes, August, what did I say, Les? What did I say, did I not say August? August is my least favorite month of the entire year. It's the dog days of summer for sure. It's when the kids get bored and they're they're ready to go back to school. That's when it starts. It's hotter than Hades. Of course, it's been that hot. It's been August hot here for a month at least. Um, so, you know, it won't be any different. But it feels like August never gets here or, or never ends. And then September finally gets here and... Everybody goes back to school and it's wonderful and I love it. <laughs> so August, my least favorite month. Okay, how many of you ordered this during the stamp sale? Let's see, I feel like I need to adjust just a bit and let's see if I can just go in a tiny bit, not too much. Um, this was on my first order when I ordered um, with a new catalog. This, hold on, I'm still working on it guys, hold on. Um, this was on my very first order. Um, I loved it so much and I couldn't wait to use it. So that's what we're going to use today. These little birds are so cute. I'm sure you've seen them all over the place. We're going to make a floating circle and we're going to use those new masks. Remember a few weeks ago during Facebook Friday, I said there were new masks in the catalog and I didn't know because it didn't have the new next to it and someone said it was in the corrections. So we're going to use the new masks. Um, and I've just... Sticking with my bubble bath, you guys, I can't stop using the bubble bath ink. It's just so beautiful. The Bird's Eye View does not have um, sentiments, so for each card, I'm using a different set. This one I'm using Go To Greetings. This is a really popular set for my club members um, to add on. I think it's right at $25, so a lot of them pick this. Um, it has little uh, words. It has big, scripty words. Um, just a lot of basic, you know, happy birthday, thank you thinking of you, um, and we're gonna use that tiny little hello right there, all right? Okay, well let's start, you know, let's start with our floating circle because that needs to dry, if I can get it to pick up. Um, a floating circle is basically strips glued to a window sheet, and a window sheet is just a piece of acetate that we, we sell it in our catalog. Um, and we're gonna glue these strips on and then we're gonna take the largest stylus shape circle and cut them out. 
So this measures about three and a fourth by three and a fourth, right? All right, yes, I had to change from the trucking along. Sorry, it's sold out again. And I don't wanna use things that are sold out. I have projects for trucking along and we will use them eventually, I promise. We may have to wait until October, <laughs> but we will. I don't wanna wait, believe me. I love what I came up with, they're so cute. All right, so I'm gonna, let me tell you the colors that I've got. This is Berry Burst. And these are just little half inch strips. And if you put the window sheet down on your grid paper, you will get it, get those strips nice and straight. This is a piece of gorgeous gingham, berry burst patterned gorgeous gingham. And I'm just putting them about a qu quarter of an inch apart. And then Blackberry Bliss, Blackberry Bliss and Berry Burst. I think they're color buddies. They go really well together. All right. All right, and then we've got, um, what is this, Fresh Freesia. And then last but not least, I can't see my iPad. I need to, I need to readjust that. Lighting is still weird. Lighting drives me crazy. Even in my house, like lights have to be balanced and right or it drives me nuts all right let's get this straight come on come on guys do what you're supposed to do there we go all right so now i'm going to set that aside to dry okay and let's do our masking so these are the four square decorative masks they're a different color than our other masks they're white and so we've got this one right and then we've got this one and then we've got I mean, I don't even know what to call them. We've got this, can you guys see that? All right, I guess it's better like that. And then last, I really like this one. I'm gonna use this one next, this one. All right, so that, that's over in our mask section of the catalog, but I also have it listed on our uh, PDF today, I think, pretty sure. All right, I've got a um, four by five and a fourth inch piece of bubble bath and I am going to put a little I just put a little adhesive there and I'm gonna stick it to my grid paper and then I've got just some um, post-it tape and if you use your grid paper you can line these up you know you can line the paper up and the mask up so that on those lines so you know that it's straight all right, we're gonna use bubble bath ink, and I just use this for another project with berry burst. So I'm gonna make sure it's not too berry burstish. All right, uh, bubble bath, and I like, I'm using one of our smaller blending brushes, and I always like to start off of the paper first. Um, when you set your blending brush down the first time, it leaves like a hard mark, like you see that? So each time I ink it, I start over here so that hard mark is on my grid paper and not on my cardstock. All right, so I'm just gonna work my way down. And then you can lift this up to see, did you get all the spots? Yep, you did, okay. If you needed to lay it back down, you totally could, but we don't need to. All right, so there's that. And we're going to, let's color our birds, our little birds, they're so cute. Now, I just, <laughs> I was making projects for our August team meeting with this stamp set, literally 10 minutes before I went live. So hopefully I put all the stamps back that we need. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to be running across the room to get them. I'm stamping these little birds in Memento Black on basic white. Um, you want to use memento and not stays on when you use your stamp and blends because they are alcohol markers and I'm not using all these colors but this is just really my color scheme um, bubble bath and blackberry bliss this is berry burst and fresh freesia and lemon lolly don't they look good together okay let's use fresh freesia light for our bird. I kind of thought that this would be a, ba a good baby card, like the mama and the baby. Whoa, I'm getting crazy. Um, like a mama and a baby. Um, but then I needed a smaller sentiment, so I just put hello. 
but you could stamp a baby sentiment on the inside if you wanted. Because hello, hello new baby, right? Um, now I'm just gonna do like a full coat of Fresh Freesia Light. And then I'm gonna get Fresh Freesia Dark, which is this one. And I'm gonna run that down along the bottom edge and under her wing like that. Okay, and then just take that and kind of blend that color over this way. Okay, now um, let's see. Let's switch to Berry Burst. Berry Burst and Blackberry Bliss, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> That is a tongue twister. Try to say those real fast together. And I bet you cannot do it. Let Berry Bliss Berry Burst. Like my brain can't even process those words that fast. All right, gosh, what am I doing? That is very messy. Very messy coloring. All right, now go back with your light, fresh freesia. And just blend all that together. The mess will disappear, and then you can color in the rest of the stripes. I have seen this bird colored in every color imaginable online. Every color. All right, now the baby's going to be bubble bath. Hi, Pam. Thanks for joining us. And then we'll take, again, we'll take the dark. And we're gonna add some behind the wing and just kind of up the belly like that. And I kind of like to add just a little bit there to the wing. And blend, 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 all the way up like that. All right, last but not least, we're just gonna do a little dot and a little dot for the beaks. Okay, so let's move those out of the way. Now, unfortunately, there are no dies for this set. So you're gonna have to go old school with our paper snips. And I cannot say enough wonderful things about our paper snips. You guys know I have them tucked away everywhere, including my car. Um, they are very sharp and they, they're just really good. They're perfect for um, fussy cutting like this because you can get inside all those little nooks and crannies that you need to get in. I cut off the extra cardstock there so that it would make it easier to get closer to the bird. You know, when you have all that cardstock hanging off the edge of the paper, it you know, gets in the way. All right, let's go around and around and around. And then the leg. Now you have to be extra careful with these little legs because they are easily chopped off. <laughs> they are very skinny. And just stay right on the outside of that line. Give it a little, a little cloud of white around it. All right, so there's mama. And then we'll get the little baby. And Around we go again. Try to stay right in the middle of, <laughs> thanks Jane. I always feel guilty because I know some people hate fuzzy cutting. I like it, I like fuzzy cutting. If I have a lot of things to cut out, I would rather sit and fussy cut them than to sit and die cut them all. I don't know, it's just kind of, I don't know, calming. All right, so we've got our two little guys. Now let's, I think our floating circle should be dry. Let me move this and get our cut and emboss machine. Where did I put it? Hello, it was right here. <laughs> Am I just looking at it? It's under the paper? No, is it on the floor? No. You guys, oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, where did it go? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, um, you know, it's like the biggest things 
I, I lose, well, I lose the little things too, but the big things are just right in front of you. Okay, now we're gonna cut through two layers, right? It's going through the cardstock and the window sheet. So you definitely need to go through a couple of times. Okay, make sure it's got enough pressure. And then I really like to just flip it over and you could probably just start this way, flipping it over. Um, when you flip it over and put the cut side up, it cuts, it just cuts really well. All right, so now we're just gonna pull that out and you may have to get your scissors if you have a stubborn piece. There we go. All right, so there is a floating circle. It's called floating because it looks like the strips are just floating on your card like that. Um, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals, of course. And you wanna hide your dimensionals. Oh, I gotta put my vellum on first though. We've got vellum. And you know, when you have vellum and it, if you have light paper underneath, your stamp and seal will not show through. See, you can't even see it. So just a piece of vellum to kind of soften that background that we made. And we'll put this right here in the middle-ish, <laughs> middle-ish. Um, I have cut out a um, basic white heart. This is from the Give It A Whirl guys. And do I have the sentiment stamp? Yes, I do, right here. And we're gonna stamp, hello, just right there in the corner in Berry Burst. All right, so now let's start with our heart. Thanks, Stacy. I love it too. It's really fun. And I haven't, I haven't done anything floating like that in a long time. I love the things that um, our window sheets can do. You know, there's a lot, of, a lot of fun things you can do with a window sheet. All right, put the baby. Oh, I need to get my dimensional bowl so I don't just throw these things everywhere. There we go. And then we'll get some linen thread. And... Fold it in half so you have two pieces. And then just tie them as if you were only holding one. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And then we've got our glue dots. Oh, glue dots, glue dots. Sticking to me everywhere but where I need them to stick. <laughs> Put that there. And then I wanted to add just a little soft embellishment. So I'm gonna use our iridescent pearls. I'm using my take your pick tool to get them off the sheet. Let's do one more up here like that, okay? Now, if we had used a um, bubble bath card base, we'd be done, <laughs> but we didn't. We have to put it on a card base. So this is a thick um, white card base, and I am just gonna put four dimensionals, and one in each corner, and then we will be done. And there we go. So now if you want to use this as a baby card, just put one of the baby stamps, you know, inside. Welcome new baby or I don't know, whatever. All right, cute pinks. I am just partial to pinks. You guys know I love pink. It's my favorite. I love it. All right, so what do you guys think? I love that. That's my favorite card today. That's my favorite project for sure. All right, so now let me clean up and I will get our second project over here. And let's see, do I need that? No, do I need this? I don't know if I need this. Let's just leave that right there. And this can go here. All right, next project. Oh, okay, I'm so excited to show you guys the next project. New Little Debbie Snack Alert. How many of you have seen the new Cookies and Cream 
brownies from Little Debbie. Aha! Uh -huh. I will tell you, this is my second box, and I'll tell you why. The first box, one morning I walked in here, and they were covered in ants. We're having an ant issue in our new house. They're here in the studio, they're upstairs in my daughter's bathroom, and they've been in the kitchen. The, this box wasn't even open, and there were ants in it, crawling all over the place. So, I bought a new box. All right, got a new box, and my daughter says they are delicious. Um, we put, we threw away the other box, but the ones on the bottom, I could tell, looked pretty good. We put them in the freezer to make sure there were no ants, and then my daughter ate them, and she said they were fine, so I don't know. I told her, I'm like, were there ants? She said no. She wasn't worried about it, but okay. She says they're delicious, frozen or not frozen. If you want to find these in your local area, I've linked the Little Debbie Snack Finder today on my blog. Um, and you just type in your zip code and then you scroll down, pick whatever snack you want, and then it'll show you what stores in your area have it. All right. All right. So now this slides off. If I could get it to slide off and it opens like that. I think these brownies, after I made these, this box, I thought maybe these brownies are the same size as the other little special brownies they do. You know, like school time, they do like a, back, a bus brownie, and then at Christmas, they do like a Christmas tree brownie. I think it's probably the same size. So it would probably fit in the other brownie boxes that I have made before. All right, so this time, um, see what I did here in the corner? A very big thanks. This is from the Timeless Arrangement um, stamp set. Um, this is a really neat set. I've used it more than I thought I would. Okay, but let's make the box first, okay? Let me get all my pieces. And we're gonna use Berry Burst again. I didn't think I liked Berry Burst that much and suddenly I'm using it on every project. So I think I like it. All right, now, Yesterday when I made the individual recording of this video, on YouTube you'll find individual recordings of all of these, um, my measurements were exactly right. There was no mess up. <laughs> but that was scrolled on a piece of paper. I transferred it over to this PDF. Let's see if it's right. You guys know. I don't know. It's like 50-50 whether I'm going to get it right or not. Um, <laughs> this is five and a half by seven and a fourth. The short side you're going to score at seven eighths. And four, oh, I already messed it up. I think we can ignore. Scratch, pretend I didn't put that there, okay? On the short side, you're gonna score at seven eighths and four and five eighths, okay? Now, over here, pretend, pretend like we didn't put that there. On the long side, on oh, where's my measurements? Two and a fourth, three and an eighth, five and three eighths, and six and a fourth, okay? So now, you're gonna wanna get your bone folder. Um, Jody, if you're getting weird flashing, completely X out and come back. Usually that will fix that. All right, now let's see if I can remember which one. It was this score line. I'm gonna ignore that score line, and we're gonna burnish all the other score lines, okay? All right, so this one, we're gonna cover that up with designer series paper in a minute so you won't even see it. If I can just remember not to cut those. Okay, so here's your paper, ignore that score line. Over here, you've got, you've got a big section. Wait a minute. It's this one, this way. Ignore that score line, okay? You've got a two and a fourth section, seven eighths, two and a fourth, seven eighths, and then one. These two sections together over here, the two smaller sections, are gonna be the top that folds over, okay? So let's get our paper snips. And we're going to cut these squares on the side. And when you do that, you wanna cut off the corners as well. I feel like that wasn't very straight right there. Let me do that. Okay, 
And then over here, you're gonna do the same thing. Snip, snip. And then this one right here, you're gonna completely cut it off. Okay. Now flip it and do the same thing. Snip, snip, corner, corner. And snip, snip, corner, and corner. And then cut this off. Okay, so right now, this is what your piece looks like. And I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna glue the paper down now. There's something else we need to do to it, but I'm gonna, I wanna cover this corner line up because it's bothering me. Um, and then it will look right. So put your paper, this is the, that paper, bright and, did I write it down? Bright and beautiful designer series paper. So you wanna put that on the big section and then this, another piece right here, coordinating, I use the stars. All right, so the box is gonna close up like this and this is gonna fold over like this, all right? This right here, these are the two that tuck into the box. And when they're long like that, it's hard to tuck them in. So I like to just cut them in half, okay? Like that. So now your piece is done and that's what it looks like, okay? So flip it back so that you have the inside face up and put your adhesive right here first on the outside of these little tabs. And we're going to fold it into the back like that. And then put your adhesive on the inside of these sides and just fold it over. It's like hugging the back side like that, okay? And then let's put our brownie in. That, that, that box of brownies, you guys, is super heavy. These things are dense. Like, I don't know how heavy this is, but it is heavy. Look, net weight, one pound, 11 ounces. So it's like two pounds on, well, no, close, well, one and three fourths. It's heavy. These are like super dense brownies. When I picked it up in the store, I was like, whoa. That is some serious little Debbie snackage. Okay, and that's how your box closes. Now, get a piece of Berry Burst, and I didn't trim it, hold on. It needs to be, I didn't put this measurement on there. Add this measurement to your PDF. This needs to be one by seven. No, let's say one by seven and a half. All right, and then it's gonna be a belly band, and you're just gonna fold it over pinching to match those lines, um, you know, to match the edges of your box. And then fold it over the back and put some adhesive right there on the end and just adhere it over like that. And then it will slide over to open your box. Now we've got some Misty Moonlight. This one has a weird name. Middle, what is it called? inner braided ribbon. Not just braided ribbon, but inner. They wanted you to know that the braid <laughs> was on the inner part of the ribbon. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, now, when you tie this, you want this white part to stick up. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of manipulating this ribbon because it's gonna want to not go this way. Run this through and when you poke this through like this, you're gonna twist that ribbon so that, that the white side is poking through when you pull it out, okay? That way you'll have the inner braid showing on your bow and not the back side of it, okay? Tell it who's boss, you tell it what to do, don't let it be the boss of you. That ribbon will go the way you need it to go, if you make it. There we go. Okay, so now there's your box. Now let's do our cute little stamping. Um, I'm gonna start with the sentiment. The first time I made this, the sentiment was last and it didn't fit and I had to start over. So 
I think it's best if we stamp the sentiment first. All right, we're gonna stamp a very big in memento black right there. And then um, you're gonna get the thanks and go up the side like that. This is one of our nested essential dies, which I love, use them constantly. And we're gonna take the books and stamp them. Now, because of the sentiment, you're gonna to need to make your books go to the left a little bit. All right? And then we've got our nerdy birdie. <laughs> I mean, that is such a fun name, Crystal. I wish they had named it that. Nerdy bird right there. And we're gonna make him cute and studious with his glasses right there. So this project, in my mind, I was already thinking, you know, back to school. My books probably should have come down a little bit, but they did not, so I don't know. When you do yours, make them come down a little bit. Um, I was thinking teacher treats. Um, let's see, where, where's the stamp set? Timeless Arrangements, who asked that, Lorraine? Um, timeless Arrangements, this one. Um, I know that in some places, I'm using Smoky Slate for, oh, I just colored his nose. Dag nabbit. Oh, well. Um, in some places, you guys start school like July 31st or something. Who here start, whose school start there? I know my cousin used to start real early and she lived up in Tennessee. We don't start until the last week of August. And then I know some people start after Labor Day. Isn't that weird how we're all different? Um, but so if your schools start, you know, here at the end of July or very beginning of August, it's time to start thinking about teacher treats. And teachers, the, the first part of the school year is the hardest part of the year. It's the most exhausting. It's when the teachers do the most overtime work, working in their classrooms, because typically, you go in on your own time instead of your classroom. Usually, you know, the teacher work week before school starts, that's meetings. They don't, they don't give teachers that time to set their classroom. So typically, when I was a teacher, we were in our classroom the whole week before teacher in service. So this is, this is a time when you really need to pamper your teachers, let them know that you appreciate them because they work hard. And in, in, in our school, there was no air conditioning um, until the official back to school week of in service. So we did all that in the heat. It was, whew, it was brutal, but I loved it. It was fun. I loved setting up my classroom. All right, so now for the books, let's use Berry Burst again. Let's see, this is Berry Burst light and all the way across like this have you guys found anything new to watch on tv we're watching outlander of course i have been in love with outlander for a very long time before the show even came out so we are big outlander people even my husband loved outlander um that's about it. We haven't, of course, we really haven't had time to sit and watch TV. But if you found something new, let us know what it is. This is Misty Moonlight. And Misty Moonlight is a dark color. So light Misty Moonlight is pretty dark. We, we've tried to watch, I forget what it's called, but it's the Marvel Nick Fury series on Disney. And we just couldn't even really get into it. I don't know if it was just we were too busy. We need to try again. Um, oh, Sweet Magnolias came out, didn't it, you guys? Did I see, is that right? Did I see that pop up on my phone? The third season of Sweet Magnolias? That is one of my favorite shows. Lincoln Lawyer, Tiffany, you are like the 500th person to tell me that. And I have got to watch it. I've got to watch it. Albuquerque starts August 3rd. Who said, oh, Carrie, your daughter starts Monday. Is that year-round school? That seems really, really early. Okay, Lincoln Lawyer. I'm putting it at the top of our list. I think my husband. You know what we've been watching, honestly? We have been watching the Astros. <laughs> I, I don't know why 
all of a sudden I, my husband, because I like to watch them, but they like play like six nights a week. And, you know, like, I don't know if I want to watch them six nights a week. So that's really what we've been watching, I'll tell you. Um, that was uh, Daffodil Delight there at the end. Um, I do love my Astros, and I'm trying to really, like, learn the game more than just casually learn it. Just, you know, like, because my husband loves it so much. And let me tell you, man, baseball's got the dumbest rules. I mean, the dumbest rules. And so many rules. I'll eat, my husband's a lifelong baseball player. He played baseball his whole life. And uh, I will ask him, now why did that happen? Why did they do that? And he'll say, I can't really explain it. I don't know. It was called a blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, if somebody who knows the game super well can't even explain this stupid rule, they need to simplify this game a little bit. I don't, I mean, you know, how am I supposed to learn all this if you can't even learn all of it? Well, he knows all of it. He just, you know. It's just too complicated to explain. I don't know. But that's what we've been watching, really. And we've been falling asleep, like dead in our bed <laughs> every night, like nine o'clock. Moving is exhausting. Moving is exhausting. Um, one thing you can do to this little guy um, for his glasses is take your Wink of Stella and color it in. Be careful though, because Wink of Stella picks up the color and so like, Brush the white parts and then brush the smoky slate parts and then wipe it, wipe your brush so that you don't spread that color. How many times have I done that? Like so many, and I still, still don't learn. All right, lastly, we're gonna put our little nerdy bird on the books, a little bit higher like that. And then we will put, Kathy, your sister is a baseball freak. So does she know all the rules? There's so many rules. Okay, Succession, Lynn, I tried, and I wanna watch Succession so bad because everybody's talking about it. In that first episode, I was like, I don't think I can do this. This is just like miserable people. It's like the White Lotus, just miserable people. I know, but a lot of people like it. I need to watch it. The process of putting your house up for sale. Becky, good luck. Whew, that's a big move. We just moved four miles. <laughs> I can't imagine moving from Oregon to South Carolina. Like, I can't even wrap my brain around that. Our other house, we thought it would sell pretty quick. And uh, so far, you know, we've had a, some showings, but that's about it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it doesn't take too long. We didn't sell it before we moved out, which was nice, but also... You know, now we're like, so. Okay, there we go, you guys. A little fun, and it doesn't have to be a teacher treat, right? It could be anything, a big thanks and with your little nerdy bird. I think a librarian would like that. Don't forget your school librarians too. They work very hard. Okay, let me get a drink and clean up my mess. Um. Sweet Magnolias, Patricia, see that's that's my problem with Sweet Magnolias. I wanna watch it all. That's one of those that I have a hard time not just binging it. I wanna spread it out. <laughs> it's so good. If you have not watched Sweet Magnolias, you guys, you've got to. It is, it's hard to explain. It's a little, like it reminds me a little bit of um, the Gilmore Girls, you know, that kind of setting. It's Hallmarkish, but not Hallmarkish, because I'm not a big Hallmark fan. Um, it's three best friends in a small town, and it's so sweet and cute, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, last but not least. Now, let me show you this card. I have a downline, Ann Margaret, who's an amazing stamper. She sent me this card, and I am in love with it. In love. So I took her card and just switched it up a little bit and made it a fun fold card. Now I'm calling this a double Dutch door card, but I don't think that's true because it doesn't have two Dutch doors, but it does have two folds. So maybe a Dutch door double fold, Dutch door double fold. I don't know. Anyway, it opens like that and then like that. This is the Dutch door part. They call this the Dutch door and then that goes over it. Okay, look at him. He's very cute. 
another little nerdy bird. Okay, so we're gonna start with Azure Afternoon cardstock. Oh, let me tell you, I'm using a couple of other stamps here too. Crafting with you, I'm just using the tiny heart. And um, layering leaves. Did you guys get this one this week during the stamp sale? This one is a good one. This is um, um, Rachel Tessman's Million Dollar Stamp Set. I'm drawing a blank there. Um, it's a good one. Sentiments are fabulous. Okay, now let me get my paper. I always have the first pieces on the bottom. Why do I do that? Okay, let's see. You're going to need your trimmer. And I cut this card base differently than I normally do. I like to have the fold at the top of my cards, like Anne Margaret did right here. But this card, we have the fold on the side because we're gonna make that Dutch door. So to do that, you just cut your cardstock on the long side at five and a half, score it at four and a fourth. Now we need to cut this in half and cut it off. And yesterday when I did it, I screwed it up. So let's see if I can do it right today. I think my measurements are off. Two and an eight is basically what you want to do. And if you, I'm going to stick my head in here. If you set this down, there's a little line on your trimmer right here. Line it up with that um, score line and then cut over. Okay. And then turn it. And then come down until you hit it and that will come off. And there's your piece right there. And look, I didn't get close enough. So let's trim that off. You know, I'm gonna do that with my scissors. All right, so that's this part. Let me get my scissors. Let's see, where are my good scissors? Hold on, hold please. Where are they? Right here. My new scissors. And I'm just gonna trim that. I was on the outside of the score line. There we go. Okay, so there's our Dutch door part. And then you're gonna need just a piece that is two and three fourths by eight, the two and three fourths by eight and a half and score it at four and a fourth. And then that just goes right there. Okay, really easy. We're gonna need some grid paper. So let me bring back this piece. And we're gonna need to clean our stamps. And we're gonna just stamp the little birds across to make a little pattern. So, do, 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 did I put them back on the other tray? I did. Okay, so let's clean this. And we're gonna use the Azure Afternoon ink. This is one of the colors we will be using in my new color club. All right, and so I'm just gonna make a pattern across, just like she did on hers. I like doing this tone on tone stamping to give you just a pattern. And then let's use this bird. We haven't used this bird yet. And then I kind of like to get it to stick in between like that and like that. And then let's close it and do over here like that. Okay. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a couple of them up here like this, just across like that, and mm, I don't think we can fit one in there. Okay, so there we just made a little pattern. Now for this one, we're going to use the glasses to make a little pattern. These look like little Harry Potter glasses. I'm going to start right in the middle and just work my way out. And then the next one will be offset. Ooh, almost dropped it. Like that. You just want to vary your pattern so that it's not exactly the same. All the way down. Until you get to the bottom. And then I need to come up here and do this. I like when, now my ink pad's real juicy. And so I'm getting ink on the end side, which is gonna be a problem when I do this. There we go. Oh, I did it again. Heavy hand. Okay, there we go. So now you've got your main 
pieces stamped. And we are gonna take a piece of basic white first. And let's put this right in the middle like that. And this is where I always where I always have trouble is getting it centered. So I'm gonna pull it down so I can look right on top of it. You wanna just center this on the white as best you can, okay? And so then it closes like that. Really easy. For the inside, I have gotten a piece of our something eclectic paper. This paper is a giant 12 by 12 stack of the designer series paper and this is the like lined paper like notebook paper print i wish i had a whole pack of notebook paper printed paper because i love it i could use it on every project this whole pack is really fun but i especially love those and then we'll stamp these two little glasses like that okay all right so now let's stamp our little bird and we're gonna stamp our bird in memento. We're gonna stamp our bird twice, and it'll make sense in a minute why we're doing this. All right, so stamp twice, and then take the glasses, and stamp the glasses just on one of your birds, okay? And now let's color with azure and Smoky Slate. I'm going to start with my light. Ah, I have the wrong color. This is not, what is this? Tahitian Tide? I think I could use Tahitian Tide, don't you? Oh, no, let me grab it. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They're very similar. They are, but let's do it right. Okay. Um, so light azure, I'm going to color those wings in like that. And I'm going to take my color lifter. See how I just did like the outside of the wings? And I'm going to take my color lifter and just do that. So it just kind of bleeds all into the middle. So it's very light. Let's see if it bleeds enough. It may not. We may need to add some. And then we'll take our light and color in. this part right here well it's not come on let's do it come on do what you're supposed to do color lifter the color lifter takes that color and just kind of bleeds it together but for whatever reason it's not doing it today all right now smoky slate i'm just going to do like a little tap 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 all the way around the edge up here i didn't really want to leave this part white but I also didn't want to color it another color. And so then I'm gonna take my color lifter and blur those lines too. So it'll just give him a little smoky look, a little gray, okay? Now, down here, we're gonna cut out these scissors and pop them up on here. So we need to color anything that's inside those glasses. So that means we're gonna do a little bit of smoky slate like that, same little treatment with a smoky slate. Blur it with your blend, your color lifter, and then add just a little bit of blue right there. All right, so now I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, you know what we're gonna do, let's go back to our Tahitian Tide. And let's put a little bit, I wanted it to be pretty light in the middle. Let's just kind of tap that color in. Do, do, do. It's just a tiny bit lighter. Oh, that's cute. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, scissors, paper snips, somewhere right here. So we're gonna cut this little guy out. He's the easiest one to cut out, I think. Go around his little hair. Just a little, you know, a little valley or mountain around his hair. You'll notice when you look at this stamp that the artist drew it not in perfectly straight lines, you know, um, obviously hand-drawn. So you're cutting around those non-straight lines 
is allowed to be non-straight. So you don't have to worry about it. And if you just stay on the outside of those lines, nobody is gonna be able to tell the difference. Now this part's pretty small, so be careful right here. Ooh, if I look at comments, I'm gonna cut his leg off. I looked up because I saw a comment and then I suddenly was like, oh, oh, he's so cute. He's, maybe he, this, I love the other card, but I love him. He's my favorite. Now take the glasses and just cut the glasses. Oh, I need to color his nose too. Take the snips and go around and around. Whoa, oh, getting a little crazy. And I'm staying right on that black line. I want it to stay pretty close. But up here around the nose, you gotta be careful too, because that's very thin. Okay. So you guys see what I'm doing? We're gonna pop that up like that. So you'll need many dimensionals for this. Whenever I need regular dimensionals, all I can find is many dimensionals. And when I need many dimensionals, which is not as often, I can't find them. Why is that? They're only there when I don't want them. All right, let's put a mini dimensional on each eye like that. And then stick his little glasses down. Oh, did I put the dimensionals too close? There we go, that's okay. I mean, come on. Could he be any cuter? I've been watching Friends reruns all week. Um, just to play in the background while I'm working. So I'm speaking in friends quotes this week. Could he be any cuter? All right, let's get a vellum circle stylish shape. That vellum stylish shape is the second largest, not the largest, the second largest die. And we're gonna put our little guy right there a little nerdy bird. And then we're gonna put this here. Let's put this little strip. This is also something eclectic, designer series paper. We're gonna put that there and then take your scissors and just cut it like that. Okay, let get all this out of there. Bring back our card. Oh, we've gotta emboss our sentiment here. Now, when you are gonna emboss on top of already like there's already ink here and this isn't ink that you would emboss typically but you just want to make sure you use your embossing buddy really good right here um, because you don't want those little um, granules to stick to that other ink that's there they shouldn't but you never know all right sending hugs from the layering leaves Stamp set. Let's see if our embossing buddy did its job. Yep, pretty good. White embossing powder. Ooh, my Versamark has seen better days. <laughs> it's very dirty. Very dirty. I have one that's better than that. All right, hit it with your heat tool. And you'll know that it's ready when it's nice and shiny and bright white. Okay, close that down, close that down, and we can get our dimensionals. We've got a few little hearts here. We've got um, a vellum circle, but it's easy to hide your dimensionals right there behind your little bird. And we'll put that right there, like that. And these little bubble bath hearts are from um, the Give It A Whirl dies. I use, the, I use the Give It A Whirl dies, I mean, on every project. They're so good. They've got every little tiny size stitched heart you would need, and they are so good. What else is in the um, Give It A Whirl dies? There's something else that I use all the time. I can't think of it. And that will go right there. Now for the bow, we're gonna use our organdy ribbon. Um, 
on the other side of this little Dutch door, you could make a little pocket for a gift card if you wanted. It's like the perfect size. Thanks, Les, I think it's fun too. I like this azure afternoon color. Okay, glue dots and glue dots sticking to everything. And we're gonna put that right there. And there you have it. Very cute, I don't know, maybe that's my favorite. I love it. I love the colors. Very cute. So thank you, Anne Margaret, for the inspiration. She said she actually cased one of my cards to make this card. And now I've cased her card to make another card. <laughs> That's how we do it. All right, you guys, let's take a look. I've got some bonus cards to show you, so don't leave yet. Here's what we made today. Um, this will be your make and take packet if you put in your order by Monday at midnight that I will send you. Um, the Facebook Friday Make and Take offer is good through Monday. Also on top of that, where's my other project? Over here. Also on top of that, I've got my vacation special. The more you spend, the more I send you, the week I get back. Um, if I knew where I had put that paper, I would show it to you. <laughs> here it is, right here. Um, if you spend $50, you're gonna get a little fun embellishment um, kit. New products in there, all new, that haven't been opened. Um, if you spend $100, you're also gonna get a host stamp set called Night of Flight. $150, you also get the pop-up trash can. Now, this offer for these on top of that is only through Monday at midnight, okay? This. The rest of this will continue when this offer ends through the 31st. I sure hope that makes sense. Okay, you guys, let's see, I have two other cards that I'm gonna put on my blog. There's this one right here, little studious um, nerdy bird with a little cute heart tag. And then, I can't remember what these dies are called, these word dies, but I love them with that iridescent paper that we have. And there he is inside. Okay, I will have these on my blog next week, you guys. I'll be traveling next week, but I will still be checking my email. Um, so if you have questions about anything, please email me. Um, don't forget to sign up for the New Color Club if you want in on that. And um, the All-Star Tutorial subscription ends, too, on July 31st. Okay. You guys have a great weekend and I will be back. What did we say? August 4th, right? All right. You guys stay cool out there. Bye.